What's up guys, this is James Bolick doing the logic tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do pitch drops and also speed ins. Um, this is great for hip hop music, remixing, etc. etc. Uh, you do need Logic 9. This is a new added feature. Um, if you have Logic 8 or Logic Express or 7 or whatever and you really want to know how to do this, I can show you with a tutorial how to do this using plugins. Uh, it takes a little bit more time, but it can be done. But for the users out there with Logic 9, very simple. Click of a button. Check this out. For your second tool, select Crossfade tool and make a simple crossfade like that. It should look like that, you know. Da, 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 da. Oh, 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 oh. Simple fade out. I know that's not what you want, so check this out. Come over here, go fade, slow down. And if you're not seeing this window, it's for the audio track selected. It's going to be right there where it says fade. So go ahead, click slow down. Now listen to this. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Not the best vocal loop to use, but you get the idea. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect pitch drop. And by holding command, you can alter if you want a quicker pitch drop or slower pitch drop. Da, 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 da. Either way, it works great. So we're going to remove the fade, and next I'm going to show you, you can do the opposite by creating a speed in. So hold Apple, click, make your fade in, and now do the same where it says fade in, click speed up, and check this out. Da, da, da. Oh, oh. Just like using a record, dropping the needle on there, speeding it up a little bit. Uh, works great every time. It's all on a click of a button. This has been James Boldick. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Stay tuned for more videos.